Moments before his death, Warmbier delivered horrifying message to Trump. When American citizen and North Korean political prisoner, Otto Warmbier was brought home this past June, he brought with him a dire warning from Kim Jong-un that the media seems to have conveniently overlooked. He faithfully delivered his message to President Trump without saying a single word. Warmbier was arrested and imprisoned while visiting the Hermit Kingdom during the Obama administration. He was tried and sentenced on erroneous charges and left to rot by Barack Obama in the North Korean dungeon where he was subjected to some of the worst torture known in modern ages. As reported by Newsweek, President Trump was able to negotiate Warmbier's release back in June of this year. Warmbier died shortly after returning to the United States from his mistreatment at the hands of Rocket Man's Minion Dungeon Masters. Yesterday, his parents, Fred and Cindy Warmbier, revealed the horrifying truth about their son's last moments and the messages sent to President Trump. Otto Warmbier had been beaten, broken, blinded and made deaf. He was no longer able to maintain wakeful consciousness and could do little more than utter ghastly shrieks. His poor mother, mortified, fell to pieces and had to be removed from the room when she first laid eyes on her poor child. Warmbier shortly passed after U.S. doctors did all they could to bring him comfort. Warmbier's condition was no accident, as the North Koreans officially reported. It was a message to the American people, from the lowliest citizen right up to President Trump. Kim Jong-un was issuing a nasty message of defiance against the United States and everything the nation stands for. This was Kim Jong-un's cowardly way of declaring war on the U.S. and promising to fulfill his most demanded fantasies against its citizens. However, Kim made one fatal mistake. He assumed Donald Trump to be the coward that Barack Obama was, and in doing so, revealed his true intentions to President Trump and the entire international community. It is known throughout the world that messing with one American means messing with all Americans and incurring the wrath of the U.S. military. No ifs, ands, or buts. To Kim Jong un's deference, Obama did a great deal to blur those lines as Obama's legacy is one of worrying more about terrorist prisoners in Gitmo than American Marines rotting in Mexican jail cells. But now there's a new sheriff in town and President Trump will not stand for this. More importantly, Warmbier's horrifying treatment as a U.S. citizen at the hands of his North Korean captors reveals the absolute horror of which Kim Jong-un is so easily capable. If Kim Jong-un will do this to one of America's citizens, what does he do to his own? Kim Jong-un's torture of American citizen Otto Warmbier exposes the most horrific human rights catastrophe in decades. The world now knows, definitively, the pure evil which innocent North Koreans are enduring daily. Now that it's known, there can be no turning back. President Trump must, and will, make Rocket Man pay for his crimes against humanity.